Hello, welcome back to Rain and Pause. I'm Mitch and I am pouring from Lisa's studio in Canada. We're at her lake house and uh, we're just doing some paintings because we're stuck inside and we've got nothing better to do. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get out and do some fishing uh, later today, but for now we're going to do a painting with these colors. So I have um, whole bean cypress green, whole bean acrylics dioxazine violet. I have Quilla Violet from Triart, This Little Piggy Comet, Unicorn, Echeveria, and Parakeet. So we're going to see what happens. Um, I'm pouring over this piece that I did yesterday because I don't like it. <laughs> and we're just going to see how it goes. Uh, pillow is going to be Tricorn Black from Sherwin-Williams. We do not have this in Australia, so it's interesting to use. And we're just going to go straight over the top. All right, so if you like, would like to learn what we are doing here, you can follow our channel. So Rain and Pause, Lisa Marvin Art. You can take the Shelly Art course at shellyart.com.au and you can get your little piggies and all the mixing sticks and everything at fluid-art.co. So tricorn black first. Then I am going to put down, what do I want in the middle? I'm going to put Comet in the middle. That's going to be the first color that we see. And the consistency and texture of the paints here are very different to what I'm used to working with, but I got some pretty good results. Then I'm going to put... I'm going to put Unicorn next. Then I would like to do this custom colour that Lisa mixed up. It's a mix of Quilla Violet with a little bit of blue and a little bit of a pink. So rather interesting. Then I have the Cypress Green from Holbein. Echeveria, another sparkle. Parakeet. And I would like to finish with Dioxazine Violet because it's always a good idea to put a tube paint under your cell activator. And cell activator I don't know what I'm going to use because I can't see any mixed up already. So I'm going to use, I think, this is pen spray. Why? Smell it. Smell it? Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, I see it there. What's this one? You mixed up a sparkly black. Oh, that's um, graphite grey fire. Ah, okay. <laughs> see, here we are sniffing paint. <laughs> Trying to figure out which one's my troll. Um, so Lisa likes to use a Payne's Gray cell activator. So we've got some mixed up here. And going to go straight on the top. And we're just going to go for a simple blue. I like this colour combination. I think I want to try this over white and see how this looks over a white base. So I'm just going to spin it off to one side first. I did not put enough pillow paint down, but that is fine by me. <laughs> We're just going to spin this until it all flows over the edge. It's very pretty. I definitely want to try this over white. So not too much paint to spin off because I didn't put enough pillow paint down. What I will do is just grab some of the pillow from the runoff or the spin off and I'm just going to paint the sides so that everything is covered and give it one more big spin just to get all that top distributed. Done. Nice, quick little bloom. 
see if we can show you the sparkle. I don't normally film like this. I've normally got my camera up on the roof, but you can see that lovely color change from Comet happening there. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So let's get another board and let's try this on white. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we're gonna do the white straight over the top. We didn't like how black this one is in the middle. So uh, I'm gonna do a white pillow this time. This one is Snowbound from Sherwin-Williams. So I'm just gonna pour that straight over the top of this one. Oh, that is gloopy. Don't know what that is and I'm getting black in my pillow. Let's just roll with it. <laughs> Not much else you can do. <laughs> Roll with it. <laughs> we Welcome to my life. <laughs> Welcome to Lisa's life. <laughs> we do not have gloopy paints in Australia because we care for our products. And we don't <laughs> leave lids off. But I actually think it's the um the Sherwin Williams cans. Yeah, they just in them. They they have boogers, they just get rings around the top. Now because I'm on a white base, um this time I don't want to put the comet first. I want to put a darker colour first. So I'm going to do my or Lisa's custom dark blue. Then I would like to put Comet. And I do that so the Comet actually stands out and you see that color shift. Then I would like the Unicorn. And then I want, ooh, what do we want? Um, the Cypress Green. Then Echeveria, Parakeet, Dioxazine Violet, and I actually think this time I'm going to finish with Comet as well, just so we really see that in there, and maybe a touch more Unicorn, why not? Okay, so normally you don't want to finish with a cell act with a piggy under your cell activator because you'll get melty cells, but I'm pretty confident I can make it work. Cell activator on, paints grey again, but this time I'm going to put. Am I going to put white on top? No, let's leave it as paints grey. Cool. Lovely. Ooh. Very different result. Much happier with that. Mm -hmm. Just going to tilt it while I attempt not to pass out because mm -hmm. <laughs> that made me very lightheaded. <laughs> yeah. And let's give it a spin. Yeah. Very, very different, but <laughs> the sparkle and it's unreal. Yeah. He'll do a close up in a better light for yeah, you guys. So I'm, you just, see. I'm just tilting to center everything. Hate to admit it, but Comet was a good choice. Woo -woo. You didn't tell them that I made you use it. <laughs> no, Lisa forced me to use Comet instead of Macaw um, to add some warmth to it, which I normally wouldn't do with blues and greens. Mm -hmm. But adding that in, it's really pretty. Sorry okay. if we're making shadows. We're just checking things out. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. So you just want to make sure you get enough paint off so it doesn't crack while it dries and so your cell activator doesn't sink. Yes. It's very nice. Yeah. The cells are fantastic. Yeah, they're very look juicy. At, look at the octopus cells there. 
Oh, like, is that what you call it? Like octopus cells. <laughs> I never. I don't know if we have octopus cells, but there you go. Someone tried to coin the term octopus cells. I'm pretty Did sure it? it was Lisa. But... <laughs> <laughs> Way back when. It but could be around the cell activator. I've got like rings inside rings. Yeah. So I'll bring you down for that a closer. Cool I'll show you. Yeah. I'll take my gloves off for this because I am not Lisa. I'm not, <laughs> I refuse to get paint all over my phone. <laughs> oh. Can I help you? Okay, so here are those really cool cells within cells. Everything looks quite awesome. Oh, I'll turn my flash on. Oh, look at that. Well, look at the sparkle. So much sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. Yeah. Okay. It's really nice. And look at that color shift from Comet there. The red. Lots, Ooh. lots of juicy, super juicy cells. Mm -hmm. So very happy with how this looks. I've got the flash on my phone. He's afraid I'm going to grab my phone. Yes, no. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, what did I use that's got blue in it? Well, the, the unicorn. unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, nice... I didn't look, use Axolotl, you know, but look, yeah. Like, look at the purple, blue, green right it's, in here, if you can so see. It's so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Parakeet looks fantastic as well. Mm -hmm. So, really nice color combination. Try it out. Let me know what you do, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.